And while hospitalizations thankfully remain low, the variant has the potential to send economies back in the ICU. 2022 was expected to be the year of recovery. The beginning has been shaky. The surge has led to disruptions. Financial bodies are revising their estimates. Governments are lowering their projections. What impact will the Omicron variant have on the global economy? Is it going to be mild, severe or fatal? Here's a report. The sharp surge in Wuhan virus cases has renewed economic uncertainty the world over. The International Monetary Fund had estimated that the global economy would grow 4.9% in 2022. It is now expected to revise its estimates and release an updated forecast on January 25th. For now, the IMF has warned of rough times ahead. It says global economic growth could slow down. Thanks to what it calls the stubbornly resurgent pandemic. Irrespective of what the projections say, the suffering is evident. Omicron is sending every major sector back into familiar territory. It has already hit travel, spelling turbulence for the aviation industry. On Christmas Eve alone, more than 4,500 flights were cancelled globally. According to FlightAware, 18,500 flights have been cancelled since then. The cancellations are mostly due to staffing shortages caused by a spike in cases. Several airline companies are revising their winter schedule. Lufthansa has confirmed plans to cut 33,000 flights. In India, Indigo is expected to cut 20% of its flights, with several airlines on a wing and a prayer. The hospitality sector is expected to take a hit. Omicron has emptied hotels the world over. In India, 30% cancellations were reported in the last one week. Globally, two rapid cancellations of hotel bookings are underway. This has put the hospitality industry on alert mode. Surveys point towards a shaky recovery in the hospitality sector in 2022. As travel and tourism suffer, an economic rebound looks doubtful. Mark Zandi, the chief economist at Moody's, says he expects a 2.2% economic growth in the US in the first quarter. That's less than half of a previous estimate of 5.2%. In Europe, Omicron is fueling inflation. Last month, inflation in the Eurozone unexpectedly hit 5%, the highest since 1997 for this 19-country block. Consumer prices are expected to rise further. Disruptions in supply chains will worsen, and depending on how long the Omicron surge lasts, these problems will only prolong or worsen. Back in India, the Department for Promotion of Industry and Internal Trade has said that Omicron is unlikely to have much of an economic impact. The DPIIT secretary says the impact will not be more than 5 to 10 basis points, for which the country is apparently prepared. Bureau Report, we on. World is one. Vion is now available in your country. Download the app now and get all the news on the move.